Welcome back to the Dragon Den, my loyal Dragonites! King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z event exclusive Majin Vegeta. And so here we have Majin Vegeta posing out of the packaging, and before we have a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. Majin Vegeta does come with five different facial expressions, as well as numerous hands for various style posing. Finally, Vegeta does come with his Super Saiyan 2 aura effect. Other than that, Majin Vegeta doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at his details. Majin Vegeta is looking very impressive here in his new figure form, and I like what Bandai has done here. It's essentially the exact same Majin Vegeta that we got previously, however, he does have updated paint. Taking a look at his head sculpt, I absolutely love the updated paint job that Bandai has given Majin Vegeta. The paint scheme reflects the anime much better than that original figure and the updated Majin symbol on his forehead looks great. Vegeta's flesh tone on his face is actually painted on rather than being molded in flesh tone. Because his hair is molded in this translucent pearlized yellow, the face unfortunately did have to be painted on top of this plastic. However, Bandai did a good job color matching his face with the molded plastic, so that does look good here. And being from the Majin Buu saga, Vegeta is wearing his battle suit, which looks really good. The folds and wrinkles on his shirt are sculpted perfectly, and I like the fact that you can see some of his muscles poking through the top. Those impressive folds and wrinkles are done beautifully, and they continue nicely onto the back of his outfit. Because this is Majin Vegeta, his arms are a little bit more muscular and you can see some vein works on his arm. The sculpt work is pretty clean for the most part and I absolutely love the fact that his gloves are molded on. Vegeta's gloves are molded onto the farms where they are painted which is surprising because they do a good job color matching the white of the plastic versus the white of the gloves. Vegeta's blue battle suit continues down to his legs where he has these really well defined muscles. Bandai did throw on a little bit of paint on his thighs and calves, however it is rather inconsistent because that's the only place this lighter paint is seen. It does a good job highlighting his muscles, but I would have loved to see that paint job throughout the body. And of course, Vegeta is wearing his traditional Saiyan style boots. Vegeta also has some brown line work on the tips of his toes which does look really good here. So overall Bandai has done an exceptional job here with Majin Vegeta. With his details out of the way, let's compare Vegeta to our usual suspects. Here we have Majin Vegeta posed next to Marvel Legend Cyclops and DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Here we have Majin Vegeta posed next to that previous Majin Vegeta figure. And finally we have Majin Vegeta posed next to the event exclusive Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So as you can see, Majin Vegeta will fit in nicely with the rest of your Dragon Ball collection and he poses perfectly next to the Super Saiyan 2 Goku figure. With his comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at his articulation. Vegeta has a ball hinge in the head and a ball joint in the neck. Butterfly joints and ball socketed shoulders. Arms go out to the side and do a full 360. Swivel at his bicep and double hinged elbows ball hinges in his wrists, hinged ball joint in his upper torso and hinged ball joint in his lower torso. Legs do kick forward, go back, out to the side and have a thigh swivel. He has a double bend in his knee, double ball joint in his ankle and finally a toe hinge. So overall Majin Vegeta will have the standard SH figure it's Dragon Ball articulation and it does work here for the character. So with everything said and done about Majin Vegeta, let's get him posed for my final thoughts. The SH Figure Arts event exclusive Majin Vegeta is a really welcomed update to the collection. Though most collectors have a Majin Vegeta in their collection, it has been a while since Bandai released this figure. Add to it with the updated paint job and the really nice translucent pearlized hair, I think this Majin Vegeta looks better than that previous figure. Surprisingly, this is one event exclusive figure where the amount of accessories is relatively the same where he comes with the same amount of hands and the same amount of faceplates. 
The main selling point is the Super Saiyan 2 aura, which I absolutely love and it works perfectly here for Majin Vegeta. Now one issue that this figure does suffer from is the same proportional issues that that previous Majin Vegeta did. Unfortunately Bandai did not rework some of the joints so Majin Vegeta does have that no neck syndrome here. It is a little bit sad because on promotional images it did appear that they fixed that issue with this character. Another issue that you might run into is his faces. The fact that they are painted over that translucent plastic might be prone to scratching over time. So try to use caution when swapping out Vegeta's faces as you don't want to scratch the paint off. But overall, I'm still really happy with what Bandai has done here and Majin Vegeta was one figure that definitely needed an update. Unfortunately, Majin Vegeta was a convention exclusive figure so if you were unable to get him at one of the conventions, you had to go to Premium Bandai. And at the time I'm making this video, unfortunately the only way to get hold of this updated Majin Vegeta is through secondhand market. Majin Vegeta is a must have, especially if you picked up that event exclusive Goku from last year. With that being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my other Dragon Ball Z videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my fellow Dragonites, coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000, reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.